Using Nano Banana and Google VO 3.1 to create cinematic movie scenes has blown me away. I've been creating cinematic AI movie scenes for a while now, but since I started combining Nano Banana and Google VO 3.1, my results have become insane. So I'm going to show you how you can create the highest level of cinematic AI movie scenes yourself while keeping the process simple and affordable. I'll walk you through creating three complete short movies with multiple scenes each. And let's start with a Mad Max desert chase scene. This is gonna be a full cinematic movie with five different scenes that flow together seamlessly. Now I'm using NVIDIA since it has Nano Banana and Google VO 3.1 combined in one place this way we save so much time and money by just using one tool for the whole process so if you want to follow along you can click the link in my description now in video actually gives you two different ways to create these cinematic scenes first i'll show you the super simple one prompt method where you can create an entire cinematic video with just google vo 3.1 then i'll dive deep into the advanced workflow where i'm using nano banana plus google vo 3.1 for maximum creative control over every single scene knowing both these two techniques will help you a lot let's start with the simple approach first. Go to create AI video inside NVIDIA and you'll see the main prompt box right here. Now here's the key. You need to be extremely detailed in your single prompt since this video is going to become 40 to 60 seconds. I'm talking about describing every scene, transition, music style, and even voiceover. So here's my prompt for creating a cinematic high-speed car chase. As you can see, I'm describing every scene in detail. The key tip here is that your prompt needs to include everything from transitions, color grading, detailed scene descriptions, background music style, and voiceover description. The more specific you are, are, the better your results will be. And I select YouTube as being the platform and for the media quality, I'm selecting Ultra, which uses VO 3.1 for the highest quality results. Then I click Generate and NVIDIA processes this massive prompt, creating the entire cinematic sequence with all the scenes, transitions, music, and voiceover automatically. And this is the final video. Now this method is incredible when you want speed and simplicity. But if you want more creative control over every single shot and transition, then that's where the advanced workflow of using Nano Banana and Google VO 3.1 comes in. So go to create AI video and navigate to agents and models. Here you can see that NVIDIA provides all different AI models such as Sora 2, Nano Banana, Google VO 3.1, WAN 2.5, Kling 2.5, Cedens, and more. You basically got every great AI model in one place, but I'm now going to select Nano Banana for creating the base images. I already came up with ideas, but you could also use their scripting tools here to plan out your sequence if you want. Set your aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and generation to 4 times. This will give you the high quality you need for the cinematic movie look. And what's crucial is to always include your aspect ratio in the prompt itself. It helps the AI understand exactly what format you want and prevents those square or weird ratio results. So I'm going to create multiple scenes, but for my first scene, I created this detailed prompt to get an aerial establishing shot. It's pretty specific specific as you can see. Now click generate and let that process. And yeah, the specificity here matters. Instead of just saying desert cars, I'm describing the complete scene such as cracked earth, dust trails, stormy sky. But I really believe that this makes the difference in getting great results. And I'm being specific for my other prompt scene as well. For example, this one for my second scene about a low tracking shot. I'm showing you the full prompts so that you can actually learn from it and take inspiration of how to visualize prompts. And another key thing is to always include ultra realistic or hyper realistic in your image prompts. Without this, you'll get 3D cartoon style results that immediately look AI generated. Now that you know all the tips, I'll show you the three other prompts that I created on screen. This way you can follow every step I take for my final result. 
Just switch to the video generation section and select Google VO 3.1. You then need to set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. And for my scene, I put the duration to six seconds and the generation to 2x. Now, yeah, for a scene, six seconds could be long, but I just want you to see how that looks because shorter will only be easier for you. So to actually create our first clip, we're going to add the first generated scene from the Nano Banana Generator as my start frame and the image from scene two as end frame. And the prompt that we're adding here is going to be, yes, a pretty big and specific prompt again, but that's going to make it great. Hit generate and save this clip to your project library. Now, let me give you a great tip for your second clip. Grab the last frame from your first video and use it as the start frame for the next one. This creates seamless transitions that make everything flow naturally instead of looking like separate clips stuck together. This took me a while to figure out, so save yourself some time. So then for clip two, we use the last frame from clip one and upload it as the start frame. Then use scene three from Nano Banana as the end frame and I created this prompt to generate it. Now for generating the following videos, I'll show you that not every prompt needs to be massive. Because for video three, I used scene two as the start frame and added this prompt. Muscle car speeding up really fast, other car chase the muscle car. Now what's important to know is that you need to keep action prompts clear and short for complex scenes. Too much detail in movement descriptions can cause morphing and artifacts that'll ruin your final video. So I did the same process for scene four, five and six and used these three prompts. And this created this final result. I am still the best racer. That's looking sick, right? Now that I showed the whole process, I do want to show you two different examples since they require some different decisions and I want you to feel confident to implement this yourself on any scene you like to create without any problem. The two examples will be a war scene and space scene. So let's create a completely different atmosphere with a World War II scene. And I'm back in the Nano Banana section to create my foundation images. Now I'm going to add my following prompts on screen. This way you can learn from it and easily see the process. Now what's important about this prompt is that using cinematography terms like shallow depth of field creates that professional blur in the background that makes your subject pop and helps the AI understand the exact look you're going for. With this result, I'll switch back to Google VO 3.1 and create my first clip using the soldier image as the start frame with the following prompt. Now again, I use the same process where I grabbed the last frame from my first clip and use it as the start frame and created this prompt. Now you should watch out and avoid words like explosion or blood in your prompts. Google's AI content filters will block generations with intense violence terms. Focus on action and movement. Instead, this will make sure your generation will be fine. And after creating three scenes, these were the final results, which I think are looking pretty amazing. I am not going down that easy. Now let's create our space scene. We're gonna create something that looks like it belongs in interstellar or gravity. I'm creating my foundation image in Nano Banana with the following prompt you can see on screen. What I found out what was important about this prompt is that it includes specific authentic details like visor reflections and fabric texture. These realistic touches make AI content look genuine instead of fake and immediately elevate the professional quality. I used the same process for the space example where I used the image from Nano Banana as a start frame and used the end frames from the other scenes. I created these three prompts and it led towards this final cinematic result.
So NVIDIA gives you both options depending on what you need. Use the simple one prompt method with Google VO 3.1 when you want to create complete cinematic scenes quickly. Just remember to be extremely detailed in your prompt. Or use the advanced Nano Banana Plus Google VO 3.1 when you want full creative control over every shot, transition, and visual element. Both approaches will give you professional looking results, but the simple method gets you there faster while the advanced method lets you craft every detail exactly how you envision it. You can try in video for free using the link in the description, but if you're serious about video creation, I highly recommend you go for the generative plan that starts at $100 per month. This is the one that I have and will give you enough credits to make multiple videos and access Sora 2's capability. Good luck and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.